DaVinci Resolve for noobs. We've been talking a lot lately about how to do picture in picture and stack different video tracks together. Now, if you have two pieces of footage in your timeline and you put one on top of the other, I've shown you that you can activate the transform option here in the lower left, and you can left click, hold, drag down and create a picture in picture just by having two stacked tracks in your timeline. And you can do things like find an outer stroke and lay that on top of your top footage, and that will give you things like an outline and a drop shadow around it. And this can be good for things like doing gameplay where you want yourself superimposed over your game footage. But there's always more than one way to do anything in DaVinci Resolve. Let's say I duplicated this exact footage in my timeline and I turned off all of the effects. Another way to do that is to go into your effects menu and look up DVE, which is a digital video editor fusion effect that you can drag and drop onto your top footage and it will create a picture in picture. And in the upper right inspector, you can hit these different numbers, one, two, three, four, and it changes the layout on screen. Screen. And you can also use things like the X and Y position to move that on screen, the Z position to change the size of it. And then when you go back to the video tab, you also have the ability to zoom inside of that picture in picture. So this can give you more functionality if that's what you need. But also keep in mind, if we look at this effect, knowing it's a fusion effect, and we can actually open it in the fusion page right here. Here is your DVE effect, and if I right click and ungroup it, it's actually a much larger fusion effect made up of a lot of different nodes. And using this fusion effect means it's gonna be more resource intensive than if you were just stacking clips on top of each other back inside of your timeline. Neither one of these options is wrong. Just decide which one of them works better for your workflow and use the one that you prefer.